Hey, hey friends, it's Kelsey, and I'm back with a Bible journaling page. It's been a while since I've been on the YouTube, so I'm just doing a really simple page as I've been working through the Compassion Cure from Illustrated Faith. The kit is still in the shop, so I will definitely link that below if you're looking for a kit. It's really good. Also, the alphabet stamp that I use is available in the shop now as an a la carte item, so I'll link that if you're just looking for the stamp. But basically, this is just a really simple page. I've been really struggling with creativity lately. I've been in such a creative rut, and one of the things that one of my mentors, Shauna Klingerman, talks about is just playing when you're in a creative rut. Just get things out that you like to play with and just play. And the page in the Compassion Cure with all the orange and the sun really was, I'm just copying it, and I'm just playing with my paints. I love to play with acrylic paints, and I thought this would be such a fun page to do it with. It's easy, it's simple, but it has a lot of meaning. This verse in Ephesians is actually a verse that we sing as a camp song, and as soon as I saw it, I had the camp song stuck in my head for, it's still stuck. I mean, it will be stuck forever. And I just wanted to sing the little camp song over and over again, be kind one unto another, tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as God and Christ forgave you. Ephesians 4.32. And that's one of the best ways to memorize scriptures, is to just sing little jingles that help us memorize it. And we live in a world where we need kindness now more than ever. And it's such an evident thing. So I let this page dry overnight and then I came back to it and now I'm just adding with a really tough brush, like um, sturdy brush, um, these white strips to make it into a sun and then I'll do some stamping. Again, like I said, not a complicated page, but just something fun and I wanted to get back into sharing with you guys on my YouTube channel what I'm doing and what I've been up to. We have been in a crazy season of transition in our house with our jobs and um, bosses retiring and just lots of crazy things happening. And so those kinds of things took some precedence. But now I'm back and some great things are happening. And I'm so excited to get to share with you guys and to get to gain new followers and share this beautiful journey with all of you. So I'm gonna stamp with my ink. Like I said, not doing anything super fancy today. But if you're new, one of the things that I have found is if I'm using a new stamp or a stamp I haven't used in a while, it helps to just really rub it on my skin and get that kind of film off of it to make sure that it stamps really well. And I am just putting be kind right in the middle as a big bold reminder to myself to be kind. And then I'm going to write down the Ephesians 432 because I did cover the verse on this page and a lot of people have questions about that and for me this is not my study bible this is my art bible i buy this bible intentionally to paint in and to scrapbook in and to get really messy in i don't buy this bible to study from i study from a completely different bible and that bible is well loved so it uh is not something that i'm worried about covering the words and covering things up because these little pages in my Bible, this page is going to remind me of what I'm doing. And then I'm writing the verse down. And like I said before, it's a camp song that I've known for a really long time. So it's just going to stick out in my head as the camp song. And Ephesians is becoming really full in my Bible. So it's just been really nice to see where the Lord takes me. One of the things I love about Bible journaling is how the Lord will take me many places in the Bible, and when I look back at a Bible once it's full, it's so wonderful to see the season that God had me in and where he really had me growing and learning. So the last thing I'm going to do is just add some white splatters, and then I'm going to call it a day. I really hope that you guys come back. I look forward to doing lots more videos for you. I have some exciting things in store, so come back soon. Thanks, friends. See you soon.